Warning. Some topics or situations in this program may not be suitable for some audience. Everything you see and hear is done on the safety of our own disclosed set under legal circumstance. Also, Speed Pigeon does not support the use of drugs, alcohol, or violence, especially for our underage audience. Viewer discretion is advised. Sorry. Right now. Get the mind juices flowing. What? Not out of our nostrils. You're going to you start it before the intro? Maybe I can just hold it like this. Well, fuck it. Maybe I'll just hold both of them right there. Maybe I'll scare them and hold a fire. There's two of us and you're just going to hog both of them? They're scared now. Yeah, but there's two of us and you're just going to hog both blunts? No, I'm just holding them. I'm right here. There's two blunts. Ooh! Ooh! I don't want them now. It's over. You ruined Excellent. It. You ruined it. They are now both mine. I will be litty. What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Speedcast. I'm your host, Charlie, and as always, I'm joined by my fellow co host, on Kevin Blank Mueller. Two episodes left, everybody. This is it. Two episodes. Tomorrow. Tomorrow. Well, I guess it's tomorrow for us. For right? us, it's in like for y'all. A few days for them. I don't know. I don't know if the last. Episode, what is the last episode? Is it coming out on a Friday or is it coming out on a Tuesday? That's a very good question. I have so many paper questions. When the last one be Tuesday? April fourteenth. I really didn't put down fucking days. I had to put down dates. Well, at least you know the day to look yeah, out for. Yeah, that, that, but like they, they were fall, already fall. able to like do that process <laughs> of elimination. Yeah, I mean not all of them, maybe. I'm kind of curious. Some though. of them were probably what, like, what? thank God he just said the what, day what, number. What is April 14th? It's a Friday. Oh, it's Friday. Oh, yeah. Okay. Nice. So look at that. That's a good. You get to start your weekend with our final episode. Yeah. So uh, I'd say that's a pretty. Uh, that's pretty solid. Pretty good start to the weekend. Pretty solid. Start the weekend and then you don't have to look forward for another episode right for so a little like, while wow. start the weekend with depression because we lift your spirits every yeah. week except for that one fucking kid except for that one fucking kid yeah. who yeah. the fuck is tyler dude <laughs> oh no that's not that kid don't, don't i'm talking about that kid so yeah, there's two I kids know, i don't know who tyler is <laughs> somebody somebody commented on our movie and said tyler's the true mvp and i've died there's no tyler there's in no the tyler. movie as a character or as anybody who was actually in the movie, there was nobody involved named Tyler, so I don't know where that came from. But uh, that one kid was salty as fuck, man. I think I think he was just jealous of how funny we were. And who was that again? What did he say? I forgot it. It was like something about like, uh, oh, it's not too early to start working at McDonald's. And I was like, oh, <laughs> yes, it is. And he, got, he, he came back with something like really fucking like nasty. So you can tell he was like pissed off. And I was like, where's your content, dude? <laughs> like you go onto your fucking fucking oh, yeah, YouTube channel and it's blank. And you know, like, like at least we if you're like, going to talk shit about people's content, have your own content to back yourself up. You know what I mean? Not even that. Just like back yourself with facts. Because you say like, oh, you know, it's not too late to work at McDonald's. Like McDonald's is a bad place to work at. McDonald's is one of the highest paying. Yeah, I would right rather now. do this. McDonald's will get your McDonald's. ass through college if you know what college you want to go to. Yeah. They'll help you out. There's I mean, a lot of benefits from McDonald's. McDonald's and all you gotta do is benefits. Guess what? Actually, somebody who works at McDonald's is probably will, will probably have a better like right now at least. We'll probably have a better success rate than us right now. He probably just wanted us to you apply to I mean? McDonald's because he's the manager of said McDonald's dude. and he doesn't have enough employees under him. That's how they fucking why trick you. Dude. They go on YouTube and they fuck with all these content That's why creators. He's and they're like, "Yo, your shit sucks. Come work for me." I mean, come work for McDonald's. Yeah. Go work for McDonald's. Not come. I don't work there. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you, loser. All right, I'm sparking. <laughs> so look at us. 50 episodes <clears throat> in. Well, 49 episodes in. And you are yet to have content, my guy. Where are you at? Love ya. You know what? Bad feedback is better than no feedback. Hey man, if you start your own content and you need a little bit jump start for viewers, come on by to our podcast. We'll Hell have you yeah, on. Hell yeah, dude. Hell yeah. <laughs> and you know, if you if you want to like go hop in the comments, talk some shit, talk something good, either way, 
we're getting talked about. So I mean, we were we were obviously influential enough to be in his mind to make that comment. That's what I think. We influenced him enough to make that comment. Therefore, we had to do something right. Like, thank you for reminding us that we're awesome. <laughs> That's my favorite thing. I honestly, I genuinely love reading the hate comments more than I like reading the comments of like, oh, you're funny, haha, ha, you're so, because I know that, dude. Hate comments are funny I know that. <laughs> you know what I mean? I know I'm funny. Speaking of funny as <laughs> But the fuck, hate comments are funny. Random as hell. Right? Switching topics. We went over to the gas station before to grab Raps drinks, right? Mike Tyson has his own vape now. I thought you were going to say Mike Tyson was there. I was like, what the no. fuck? And this is <laughs> no. not what you started the fucking conversation <laughs> off with? <laughs> no, Mike Tyson we're has his own We're talking about the shitty ass loser commenting under our fucking irrelevant ass fucking podcast. Meanwhile, you're fucking vibing with fucking Mike Tyson. Buying a vape. <laughs> I'm pretty sure he doesn't even smoke. I think he smokes weed. He does smoke weed. But what, like, nicotine? What kind of flavor vape you smoke? What are you smoking? I like my vapes to taste like pigeons. <laughs> Tastes like pigeons. I really love pigeons. <laughs> Every time you pull it, it makes the sound of a tiger roaring. It reminds me of my tag. Reminds me of the time I bit off Evan's ear. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was pretty, uh, pretty interesting. Wait, he has his own insane. soda? Or vape? No, his own vape. His own, like, Mike vape. It's Tyson? Mike Tyson and whatever the is flavor. Is it a weed vape? Is it like no, it's just like a nicotine like, vape. What? That's what I'm saying. Yeah, I don't even think he smokes. Smokes. And I said that, and the dude working behind the register started laughing. Like, yeah, right? Type of shit. Wait, where was this? At Crowsers? No, uh, the Excel? gas station, Delta. Uh, Crazy. Pretty interesting. That's like, you remember when fucking Shaq was coming out with his fucking Arizonas and they were mm. putting like Shaq's fucking. They were putting shoe it print. over old that, Arizona yeah, that cans. Dude, you were able to peel them off and it was like older fucking cans. I but, remember like, that. I remember like in the stores, like at least in Krausers, they would have Shaq's footprint in front of the fucking. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That it was in. That's right. And it was like fucking this big and I mm-hmm. thought my feet were fucking big and he's like, Jesus Christ. That man's a fucking no, that's monster. That's real like Bigfoot. Dude, he really is, honestly. And that's the thing, like, back in the day, people were probably just seeing really fucking huge people's footprints. Yeah, right. And they were like, oh, it's fucking Sasquatch. Dude, can you, <laughs> Sasquatch. <laughs> can you imagine how fucking hard it must have been back in the day to find customized shoes? Oh, yeah. Like, you could do that shit online now, like, you know, no <laughs> problem. There's websites for it and shit. But back in the day, like, Shaq's time, how, where do you go? You're acting like Shaq is, like, fucking medieval. Not medieval, but I mean, when he was our age, you can't just go on the fucking computer. Well, yeah, when he was our order age, shit. But, like I'm sure, like he when always, it was when he was our age, he probably had that. He had fucking, Shaq, hang up, mommy got to make a call. He probably only had to deal with like getting custom shoes. Like <laughs> not hang up, get off the computer. He probably only had to deal with that struggle for a little while because he got famous pretty early. Yeah, you know what I mean. Just because you're famous, don't mean you got like advancements early well, not necessarily well yeah I mean that's what shoe contracts are all about yeah they're, they're making shoes but I'm talking before him. that before the fame bro how hard was it for his big ass foot to Probably find big ass shoes to- anyway what were we talking about I caught that shit like right when it turned off so Shaq's that, footprint that was like no time wasted it looks extra blue now it does look extra blue now what happened what happened? maybe it's the way it's like it's not like I don't fucking know. They're gonna have to deal with it. Oh well. What were we talking about? Shaq? Shaq getting custom shoes. Ah. Yeah, it was probably like annoying as fuck back in the day. You know what I'd be more pissed about? By the time I needed to order those custom shoes, right? Whatever age he was. It was probably pretty difficult for a time. And then all of a sudden, after he starts getting his fame and shit, he just starts getting shoes in his size fucking galore. That was probably so irritating. Like, are you people just fucking making... Do you know how hard it was for me to find these shoes and you guys are just fucking coming with 50 pairs a day? Yeah, they just day? have a shit ton. <laughs> I, when I was a kid, I almost had to start getting shoes custom made, but that's just because I was a fucking idiot. I, for some reason, I've always been like a ten and a half since I was like in mm-hmm. fucking like middle school. Yeah. But... 
once I got the ten and a half, I was like, I just want my feet to keep growing. So I just kept lying and saying my shoes weren't fitting me, and I ended up with size fucking thirteens. And my parents were like, you're gonna have to like start like paying extra to get like custom shoes and stuff. And I was like, oh damn. And then, like, I started looking at myself in the mirror, and I was mm. like, I literally look like I have clown feet. I should just go mm. back to the shoes that I should be wearing. <laughs> you know right. what I mean? Because, like, oh, where are my Air Forces, dude? My Air Forces come out to, like, fucking, like, jeez. They're so fucking huge. You got mad space and I don't know shits. why I did that. I don't know why the fuck I did that. It's because I was getting big-ass feet really early in life. So I was like, I just want to keep getting big ass feet. So and I was the opposite. I wanted to, my feet kept growing and I didn't like the way bigger shoes looked. I always liked the way smaller shoes looked. So I, didn't I wanted like the way, smaller I feet. didn't like the way bigger shoes looked either, but for some reason I just kept telling them to get me bigger sizes. Hmm. Yeah, well, I tried to do, I think it was a half size smaller once. And that was like excruciatingly painful. Yeah. That's like, uh, you know, know they're not Nikes, but you know those like tan and red oh, like Nike, Nike type. Fuck. You know those like tan and red like Nike type things. They're not Nikes. Yeah. But they have the star on them that yeah. I have. Mm-hmm. Fucking those, I got them. I think they're like a nine and a half, so they're like a size smaller than these. Mm-hmm. And like when I first got them, it was so uncomfortable because like my toes were literally right at the top. Yeah. But after I broke them in, like they're really comfortable now. Oh shit. Fit to the foot. But my feet hurt so bad for like the first like couple of weeks. Yeah, right. Me too. My feet hurt worse than those breaking those in than they hurt breaking in my Doc Martens. And I think that's really where my Ingram me, toes started coming from. My Ingram toenails. Everybody told me like oh, Doc Martens are gonna hurt so bad when you're breaking them in. They're the worst shoes ever. Blah blah blah. And I never had a problem. My feet never hurt like wearing them. Even to this day, like, they're fucking, they're comfortable with I think the only Doc Martin things I've ever owned were my slippers, and they're always comfortable. Doc Martin slippers? Hell yeah. That's a thing? Yep. They're pretty nice. I've had them for a while, and they're still kind of nice, so. Those are the black ones? Yeah. I want to fix this. I want to, like, because this is kind of bugging me. What, the color? Yeah. Yeah, our faces look weird. I don't think it's that. Nothing changed. Like, none of the yeah, lights changed. Yeah, literally nothing. Changed. You just turned the camera back on. And it's just bluer. Because my shirt was coming off white before, and now it's just blue. I don't understand that. That's so fucking weird. That is weird. And you, when you sit back down, look how much you blended back in. Like, you're gray, and then you sit down, and your whole shit is like... I'm blue as fuck, blue. dude. I don't <laughs> understand it. That helped a little bit. Yeah, a little bit. Like, you're still pink. Like, mm-hmm. you're pink as fuck. Yeah, you turned it back on and it was completely... Even the Paradise sign got, like, just... That's weird. This is episode blue. Code blue. Episode blue. It's episode code blue. Oh, this... No. Word. That's what I'm calling it. It's episode code blue. Hell yeah. <laughs> I usually name it with whatever the topics are or, like, yeah. whatever we're talking about. like the bit. And if there isn't a main topic, I'll just name it off of, like, the longest topic that we were talking about. That we were about. on. But, like, this one's code blue. It's definitely code blue. It's code blue. Butch, and then you're gonna fucking put it on and it's gonna be normal. Like, all the rest of them, they're gonna be like, what are they talking about? I should call it code blue. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it did change, like, drastically. Yeah, I feel like that's gonna be us, very it's noticeable. Even wonder, if it's not fully blue to them, they're probably gonna notice some something. sort of different shade change. Yeah. And it'll just, like, flash for them, because the camera just, like, yeah, goes... Yeah, it's just gonna go from <laughs> one scene to the other. <laughs> It's gonna be funny. You're gonna be sitting on the couch talking about something, and the next thing they see is just you holding the camera, like, up. Where the fuck would he go? Where'd everybody go? (laughs) Yeah, it just stopped out of nowhere. I completely forgot. That's the one thing I knew I was forgetting something, and it was to fucking delete one of the episodes that I already have on my computer. So I can have, like, at least an hour's worth. I need to fucking delete a lot of them for tomorrow's episode because tomorrow's episode is going to be long yeah probably it's just going to be long well I mean probably not too too much though because we're just going off of the fuck fi- the, it's the final it's the, it's the finale it's the final but I was going <clears> to <throat> say like how because again you wanted to like kind of do like some sort of and we don't have to like but you were talking about how you wanted to do like one more like drinking thing before we like finish off the season oh word so I was thinking like we can just we can just bullshit for like 
up until like the halfway point of the episode, and then we can start the bracket. And then if we have any time left, True. we can just bullshit until the end. That's you a know good what point. I mean? So, because the bracket will probably be pretty small. You know what I mean? It's only like. Right. It's what? It's, it's like six, six rounds? Four, four or six okay. rounds? I don't remember like exactly. Yeah, it's eight of them all together, but like, you know, it, it goes through like the first wave mm-hmm. and then the next wave and right. then so on. So I think it's like. No oh, shit. Three, four, eight, I'm excited to eat my salad. I think it's I eight. Have any pasta salad waiting for me? Antipasta. Where? In your fridge. Ah. Yeah. Antipasta. Isn't that just like... Or antipasto. I don't know what the fuck, what the fuck is it. Antipasto? What is that? It's um, like a rolled up like cheese and like dough meats with like sliced cucumber. And there's no pasta? Uh, no, there's no pasta. It's antipasta. Ah, well, I figured, <laughs> but like... I don't know. <laughs> I guess it's like... The same way, you know those like little colorful noodles? The green, red, yellow, I forget what they're called, little spiral shape. Yeah. Uh, a lot of pl- a lot of times you'll get like a They have some sort pasta of pasta salad in it, right? Like tom- it's just the little tomatoes, little cucumbers and shit. Yeah, it's literally the same exact shit, just anti-pasta with salad. Mm. Pretty good. I like it. Pretty good, pretty good, pretty good. Yeah. And it's pretty good. What? My homemade Alfredo sauce. Mm. Love that shit. Lovely. I'm gonna have to try that one time in life. Maybe one day I'll make it. One nice. day I'll make it. Nice. You let me know. You give me a heads up, I'll be all there. Yeah, yeah, do it. Yeah, do it. It's very simple. Like Alfredo. Alfredo's pretty dope. Yeah, it is. I, I like I like my white sauces better than I like my fucking uh, Calm down now. red sauces. I didn't say I like cum, Kevin. <laughs> I didn't say I want to fucking have your dick dribble all over <laughs> my mouth. Jesus Christ! Jesus, That's not I said I like either. fucking. I said I like white sauces. Okay. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> I know it's really good. Though. What? Fucking um, we just made it the other day, and we we didn't make it really good. We kind of fucked up, but it was still good, which is how I know if it's done right, it'll be really good. Um, it's fucking ah, what the fuck is it? <laughs> Sounds great. <laughs> we made we made chicken, and then it was pasta, but the sauce was like this like. Uh, lemon sauce uh, and it was like just lemon and olive oil mixed nice. with like a whole bunch of herbs and shit and it was so fucking good, good shit. but we didn't do it right because the sauce didn't like mix well but like it still tasted really good I really like lemon pepper lemon pepper yeah like some lemon pepper wings I don't want to think about wings for a little while but they're good right time we never did another hot sauce challenge no we never did we have to you know what we have to do we have to like Try and look up some good hot sauces, like some really hot ones. Yeah. And like, and like really cry. We can buy them, it. and then we can actually like, kind of like what they would do on hot ones, where it's like they'll marinate them yeah. in the hot sauce, mm-hmm. and then put more hot sauce on it. Yeah, just completely embarrass ourselves. Huh? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, totally dude, totally that piss, that. the pissed off pepper challenge was like one of my favorite episodes to do. Yeah. It. Hurt I think it has really one of the bad. greatest fucking uh, what is it? Thumbnails. Yeah, thumbnail. <laughs> We look so destroyed. Right. Dude. We're so fucked. <laughs> yeah, that one's my favorite thumbnail. I like, but that's the thing. It's like, I love doing shit like that. Like, even though it sucks in the moment, it's still like really fun to like hurt yourself. Yeah, hell stuff. yeah. You know what I mean? Hell yeah. Cause it's like, I'm over the whole like, the whole like LSD era where it's like I was fucking like, not the drug. The, the films, but like the LSD era, where like I'm tired of just hurting myself yeah, physically, hurtling your body, like hurting into my body physically. Whatever. I would rather yeah. like hurt myself in like fun ways. That yeah, won't like affect eating me something. Or, yeah, yeah, like that won't affect me long term. I hear you. I don't want to fucking like wake up and have like arthritis in my fucking. That's like on that bones and shit. On that, I want it to fucking you know who really fucking bothers me, and I know I want to say it started as like a scientifical like experimental maybe thing but you know the guy at the show he goes out into wilderness and finds these bugs that are supposed to be highly fucking toxic and highly fucking and and he forces them to bite him i just seen that the other day 
Again, Man this dude, wild. yeah, something like that. This dude's like fucking what, forty something, maybe like yeah, been, early thirty, whatever. He's been doing it for like fifteen years. He's been doing it since like the start of. What YouTube. the fuck is wrong with him? Yeah, it's crazy. Like, why the fuck would you do that? Yeah. Sick I fuck. I guess it's for scientific. I get like I feel like it started as that, but then he just gets like you could see it. Like he yeah, gets like, ugh, there it is. And, and then, and then sometimes he makes it sting him like a few times. Yeah. Like he'll get it and he'll be like, oh, that wasn't good enough. And he'll say some dumb shit. Like, like he'll have a fucking desert <laughs> scorpion tearing his shit up, and he'll be like, oh, that's so much worse than a red ant. Yeah, no shit. <laughs> the fuck? What? So much worse than a red ant. Dude, like what the fuck did you just say? No shit. Dude. The thing has a tiny sword. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like, he's a fucking he always monster, says some dumb bro. shit like he's that. He's so fucking weird. I would never do that. Uh uh, bro. But you know what? He's getting paid. And like. And like, I get it. Like, if it's, if it's for getting out there to be like, oh hey, watch out for these. But they all look like a. Hey, watch out for me. Yeah, you don't. It's you don't not have like to. something where it's like, oh, what does it grow? Yeah, right. The fuck? I Besides, know. I feel like people at like today's point. Especially like today's like like people. Mm. People don't fuck with bugs no more. No. No bugs. No. Like people barely even fuck with caterpillars. I see people freaking out over caterpillars and shit like that. It's like you think they're gonna go towards a fucking like one of those fucking like killer hawk fucking wasps or whatever the fuck they are. You wanna know one of the <laughs> only bugs I fuck with? I'll show you right now. I posted on my Instagram. You know what are really cool? Coconut frogs. Or er, frogs. Coconut crabs? Coconut They're crabs. like the really big fucking crabs that look like spiders. They're like the size of trash cans. Mmm. They are those? terrifying, yeah. No, I fucking love those. I don't think they're cool. They're I think really they're cool. absolutely... Here it is. They're, they're right, not, I was they're working not harmful, on, um, and they're just fat, and they like food. So if you're, like, cooking out in the wild and shit, they'll just all fucking come up to you and, like, basically just beg for food. Yeah. I was working at a solar panel place one day on somebody's roof, and I saw that thing next to me. What is that? I don't know. I think it was some type of beetle, but it... Uh, it looks like it has big ass eyeballs. If anybody knows what this is, let us know. Love that dude. Let me get close. He's so cool looking. And he was just looking right at me. I was like, "You That's need to get your is picture that taken." Eyes or yeah, is that no. Prince? Like I think it's. Okay. I think it's just I like. Say, it, I guess it's prints to like fucking well, yeah. like scare off prey and shit. Right. Yeah, that's probably what it is. That's crazy. But yeah, dude, it's the coolest fucking, fucking thing I've ever cool. seen. That's in Jersey? You found that in fucking yeah. Jersey? Yeah. Yeah, dude. Right on a, um, right on the roof I was working on. Let me see if I and can I, find... He was, like, right next to my boot. Let me I, like, see if I can find oh, the shit. fucking picture on Instagram. When we went fucking hiking, I found this, like, millipede or centipede. And it was, like, black, but it faded into orange. And it was so fucking cool. It's really far back. The fucking bugs are crazy, dude. I love bugs. I, like, don't like to get near bugs, but, like, I like to, like, look at them because they're really mm. cool looking. I knew this kid in, um, middle school. He said he had a pet tarantula, and he said every day after school, he went home and, like, went down to, like, just his underwear and would let the spider crawl on him. I'm like, that's... You're sick. <laughs> oh, shit. It was huge. It was wow. like it was like this big, and it was like <clears throat> as thick as my fucking pinky. Oh fuck! That's like some I don't know, some like deep jungle type shit. We found that shit in the mountains, <coughs> the fucking same mountains that we were uh, that we went to the one day. That right? we went to, yeah. And it was uh, there was like this cool ass fucking like pond. This thing went deep. It looked shallow, but right here went down like fucking like ten feet. Really? It was just like it was it was a pool. Wow. That part. water's clean as fuck. Then people, yeah, dude, people swim in that shit. It's cool as hell. Wow. Yeah, it was beautiful over there. I want to go over there again. Yeah, that's what it looked like. It was a whole pool. Wow. Yeah. Like a natural spring. That's cool. The fucking black bear. Shit was cool as hell. Yeah, it's wild, dude. I love that place. I love it how, like, when you're on top of those mountains, hawks are, like, right above your head, like, fucking, like, five feet. And they don't <laughs> bug you. Like, they just fucking, like, they'll circle and shit. Yeah. Like, they don't bug nobody. Yeah, you're pretty high up when you get to that point. I think it's <clears> like 1,600 feet. Which is fucking... Not that crazy compared to mountains, but it's pretty crazy over here when you don't have a lot of mountains. Yeah, for real. You know what I mean? When you're, like, when you're like, oh, look at the water. Like, I'm we just, so happy we just you guys have the beach. That was so, such a nice spot. Mm -hmm. I wish we lived closer to it. You came up on that bridge day. with us too, right? 
Yeah, I'm pretty sure I went everywhere you guys did that day. I think. And that was when the cop fucking pulled us over. Oh, no, like, no, no, wait, wait, wait. Bridge? Was that, like, late at night when we were driving back? It was like, no, it was it was like the aqueduct, and it was like right down the street. Because I know you guys. It was right down the street from the fucking, it was on the way back from the mountain. On the way back it was from. right down the street. And we went with those kids that we met on the mountain. Yeah, no, I think you guys went with them. You stayed in the car, We right? stayed in the car. Yeah, that's yeah. Right, fucking, but that shit was crazy. It was cool as fuck over there. Oh, no, wait. No, 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 no. That was uh, the underneath of the bridge, right? We went yeah, through that little yeah, pathway. Yeah, yeah, We had to yeah, go yeah, down I did the go ladder. With the ladder was like fucking like And we heard like music feet. or some shit on the way over there. Well, there were other people. <laughs> yeah, they were playing like There were other people you know? in there and we scared the shit out of yes. some of the people. And then there were also people Wasn't fucking. Wasn't there fucking? Yeah, yeah, dude, that's right. I do remember that. That shit was that was cool as fuck. Crazy. That was like a dam or some shit. <laughs> it was an aqueduct. Not a dam, but yeah, just, yeah, yeah. Uh, it was a fucking, it was a bridge You go down one part over. of the wall and it just drops. Yeah, it was That just, was really cool. It was a bridge going over the river and then it like had these like fucking like, I don't know. Like, I just wish it was like, a little brighter by the time we got there because it was pretty dark and I couldn't really see too much like far out. Yeah, the first time we didn't tell, went it just there, open. The first time me and Nick went there, we watched the sunset, which was mm. fucking pretty cool. Because you can literally just watch the sun go right, right under. But that place is fucking cool as hell. Yeah, definitely gotta go back there. That's the weather starts getting nice. Yeah, I wanna go there. Like soon though, not like hot nice. And I wanna go back to that fucking building I brought you in Patterson by the fucking waterfalls. Yeah, I definitely wanna go back. I wanna bring Jules there. I was telling Jules about that. Fucking, I haven't been there. And a couple was fucking was there, too. <laughs> a couple was fucking there, yeah, dude. It's like everywhere Every time we go, we go there's travel. people fucking, Somebody dude. just fucking somewhere. All the time. I forgot that was with you. I and they were like, the yeah, other person what, I like 20 with. feet away? There was like they a family across the river. on the other part of the beach. They were across the yeah. river, and we could see them clear as day, and then 20 feet away from them on the same side of the river was the like a whole family, family. little kids and shit. And you just hear, <laughs> ah! Ah! Yeah. yeah. And the family didn't leave, bro. Like, they were like, they knew it was up. And if we they heard it from there. across the river, they 100% heard it. They that absolutely shit. knew. Like, there's no way they didn't hear that shit. Like, oh, kids, don't go in the water. You hear somebody you got in eaten. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. No, that place was nice, though. Yeah. That, that place was, was nice, funny. though. So that made for well. some good ass fucking background shots. I hope it's still there. You still have <clears> pictures and stuff? Yeah, oh, hell yeah. I didn't delete any of them. I posted them all on my Instagram. Yeah, that shit's fucking crazy, man. I hope that shit's still there. Here's the main one. That was my screensaver for a little while. That shit's cool as hell, yeah. That was your screensaver? It was a screensaver for a little while. Thank you. This is the top of the mountain. Oh, yeah, that was the mountain. I have that. Oh, Um, you took that? Yeah. That's crazy. That was my profile picture for, like, the longest Mm -hmm. time. You were like, dude, send that to me. I need to make that my profile picture. (laughs) Uh, Where else? Hold on. They're all under here. What's this time? Long ago? Oh, I'm on my Instagram. What the fuck? It's in my camera roll. <laughs> Hold on. <clears throat> yeah, the place was fucking sick as hell. I would totally film something there. I feel like that's a good place to film something. Maybe when people aren't fucking. Yeah, right. Yeah, this is from the inside of that building. Oh, yeah. The one building. This is fucking crazy. And they, those buildings went on for a minute, too. They yeah, were they huge-ass buildings. That was one of those spots. Oh, yeah, that was on top of the waterfall. A lot of them were copies, too, so I got rid of a lot of them. Mm. But, yeah, that place was dope. Patterson Falls. <clears throat> I'm not gonna give you the location of the building because uh, yeah. maybe I'll go and fuck that shit up. But the falls are pretty. Cool. Fuck that shit up, or possibly falls. get in trouble, <laughs> or care. possibly fall and die. Because there's a lot of high no, points. I don't care about that. I just don't want to know people going there and then it being like known by the I cops. I care about that because there's video like, proof that we are responsible for anybody going that way yeah. if we tell them the exact spot. That's why I'm not telling them the exact spot. Yeah, we're not telling you shit. But I also don't want them <laughs> going there and fucking shit up and then nobody else is allowed there. Yeah, right. You know what I mean? Or they knock it down. Or next time we go back there, they're the ones clapping cheeks on the fucking beach. Yeah. No, thank you. <laughs> or like, again, like, the whole place will be burnt down or, like, knocked down or something. Fuck that. You guys are reckless. Yeah, I mean, it's already crumbling. Just let the rest yeah, of it, it chill. It was pretty fucking Because the inside of that one park could be a really good skate park. 
Well, they were building the skate park. They were building park. the skate park. Oh, there, dude. There were ramps and shit in the skate park. Out. I don't know. Maybe. I, I do. I want to go back there. I want to, maybe next time Jules comes down, we can go up there if it's nice. I'll let me throw gas money. It's a lot of I haven't been there for a minute. It's pretty sick. But you got to go, what, for after five, right? Why? You know why? For the reason that we can't say. Certain eyes aren't watching certain things, right? Oh, I'll cut it out. Oh, yeah, the, right? The workers don't yeah. work there or something? Yeah, yeah, I yeah, forgot yeah. about that yeah. shit. Yeah. <laughs> I fucking completely forgot about that shit. <clears throat> wow. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> don't be sneaky bastards. No. They wouldn't even know where to go because the, no, the way you have to go to get there is like pretty fucking sneaky. Yeah. So it's kind of a thing. Yeah, right. Not just anybody can do it. If you didn't grow up being sneaky, you, you'd get caught. Yeah. It's very, like, in plain sight, I think, at first. It's crazy, man. A lot of people go there, though. Yeah. Hell yeah. There was a decent amount of people when we went. Because, like, every other time I went, there was a bunch of people, like, in the buildings and shit. Mm. Like, just, like, fucking, like, walking around and hanging out and stuff. I'm sure it's not, like, illegal to go there, like, to those certain spots. It's just, like, the workers need to make sure people are cautious of... Because it's a high well, point. I mean, that is, like, that specific spot, it is a high drop. Yeah, the area is, like, where the buildings are, are, like, gated off. I don't know if there's any private property signs. And not only that, but because it's so close to, like, the falls and shit, right, a lot of the right mossy up. rock is slippery as yeah. fuck. And that's another thing, you can't really regulate people going back there because it's right next to the river and it's, like, a public property. And they don't really area. block it off that great. It's no, just a fucking not. And you, again, you can get there from the river. You can just yeah. walk up the river and, like, eventually get there anyway. There's no way to stop right. people from going there. Exactly. And it's accessible, basically, from public roads and shit. Right. Like, it's just that that specific way is a little risky. Yeah, it's the only way I know how to go. I don't know what roads to go on to. Yeah, right, buy a canoe and just fucking... Literally. We'll find it eventually. We're like, well, if it's hidden, blah, blah, blah. In all reality, you can probably walk... Somebody who lives down there knows the exact main road yeah, to right? walk down. And somebody watches this, there. they're like, I know exactly what they're talking about right now. Dude, they're going, like, a whole extra way. Right. Like, <laughs> That's funny. I mean, yeah, that does make sense, because you do walk a little bit, so... It probably you is a little cut off before you and even get again, to the if, falls. If on the other side of the building, if you just keep walking, it takes you out to like the main strip. So there's easier ways to get to it. There's this other spot I want to take everybody at one point. I found it one day driving around from um, Olive Garden uh, over in Piscataway. Uh, I got off work early one day and she was still working. I was waiting for her to be done. And it was like 15 minutes away from... Uh, from where we worked at, there is this, it's like a, it's a certain cutoff, I don't remember exactly where it was, but I took a picture in that place, so I have a fucking map location of where it is, so I can find it, <laughs> <laughs> but <clears throat> you, um, you park your, it's like all gravel, right, grass around, whatever, there's a little gravel parking lot to park your car, you walk down, and there's just like a rope, right, it looks, it's kind of like, it kind of looks like how a Rutgers Gardens is, Right? You park up your car, there's just a little rope entrance, whatever. And it is literally just fucking miles and acres of just nature. And there's like a little tiny thin path, dirt walkway. And uh, what was it? The second I walked in, there was a fucking deer like 10 feet away from me. That's what I took a picture of. That's like, you remember the hangar that we went to over... Uh... But yes. In Cerebral Wreck. Mm -hmm. That shit was cool as fuck. Yeah, uh, uh, did I ever take you to the abandoned building over uh, um, in South River? I don't think so. This place? Mm, no. Yeah, no. It's so fucking cool. That looks dope. I have yeah, but you walk up, room. you walk up the thin pathway, and there's like a, it's kind of like a steep hill. Yeah. Right. You get all the way to the top, and there's a just one bench at the top of it. There's a lot more pathway past that point, but I didn't have much sunlight left, so I needed to like get the fuck out of there. And that that short walk up to the top of the hill was like an hour and a half walk, yeah. just from the entrance to that hill. 
but it looks like it's right there. So it just shows like how big it is. Get to the top of the hill, you sit at the bench. If you turn around, you can see like the whole whatever town that is next to you. Where is it? It's in, hold on. It's in Piscataway, I think. We're like 15 minutes away from Piscataway. I'm gonna find a picture. This is we were on a we were on a fire escape. Oh word! It's on the side of the building. Hold on. Just read. Yeah, look. It's fucking dope as hell. That's tough. This whole street's abandoned. All what? of these houses. Wow. It's right. You know where the Wawa is? Right before you go over that bridge to get into the South River. Yeah. So you go over that bridge, and then it's the second street, the second left, right after you pass the. the oh light. no shit! Yeah. Yeah. Word. Oh, here we go. All right. Oh, oh it's Hillsboro. Okay, so this is. I took a video when you first walk in. This is the whole thing. That was the deer that I saw. It's literally right fucking next he's to me. He's just fucking chilling. Yeah. He didn't even mind. I mean, he's flicking his tail, but like. I'm surprised he didn't run. Yeah, right? That's what I'm saying. And it's so quiet back there. Like, you can it hear all the bugs and shit, but... <laughs> <laughs> but that's... Yeah, that's when you first walk in. But it stretches, like, this way. It stretches so far. And you see the hill, like, right here. So I just walked to the hill. And that took, like, the to, from right there to the top of the hill is, like, an hour and a half. It's just, but it's like it looks like it's right in front we of you. We gotta do more exploring this summer. Yeah, dude, that's what I'm saying. I want to go back here definitely. It says Hillsboro. Hold on, let me find the fucking Hillsboro. It's that's not that far. Nuh-uh. Let's see. What are you There's driving? some way. Uh. Okay, just location. No, there's some way if I hit like the info of it. Like this, it gives me the exact location. Oh. That's crazy. <laughs> yeah, but it's like this. So you can see it's like. It's just woods. It's just a cutoff oh, of some crazy. random road. I don't even know how I found it, it, but it's just a random cutoff. It has to be crazy um, to be like wild animals. You're just minding your own business and a stranger's like. Hi, little baby. Yeah, right? The motherfuckers. What the fuck? What? People aren't usually over here. How the fuck you found me? It's uh oh, it's next to East Mountain School. Where the fuck? It's Hillsboro. Yeah. Hillsboro. It's off of oh, it's off of Amwell Road. That's actually I think close to our job now. Hmm. Huh. Word. But yeah, definitely want to go back to that spot. There's a bunch of cool ass places in Jersey. Where the gardens stay for a reason. We a just knocked down people, a lot of our shit for a fucking lot of people housing developments. Holy shit, yeah. but like, we have some pretty we have gorgeous spots. Crazy places. I Dude, wish... my cousin, hold on, pause, I'm sorry, before I forget about this. Yeah. Nork, I have family over in Nork. He, uh, I went down with him. It was, uh, like right down the street from where he lived. Um,. There's this, like, I want to say it's, like, a little, like, a picnic area, right? Yeah. It's, like, in a park, but, like, um, just, like, tables, a little overhead. If you go into, like, the bushes and shit, it's, like, a little bit of woods. He walked for, like, f ten minutes, right? You get to a point where there's just bushes, like, a wall of bushes, and you move the bushes out the way, and it just fucking drops, right? Like, you're probably 70 feet up, and it's just a little... Uh, what do they call it? Some little, like, body of water at the bottom. But it was just so fuck In Nork! I was like, what? Where the fuck are we? Narnia? Like, wh what the fuck? It was just amazing to me. We just walked right through here. He's like, oh, watch, watch, watch. And I looked down. It was like 70 feet up. Something like that. But there's a little fucking water thing. That's crazy. I forget what they're called, but people say, uh, a lot of people went swimming in them, uh, back in the day in Jersey, and apparently there were sharks and shit in it, so they started t telling people, like, oh... Don't go swimming in these. 
Uh, I forgot what they're called around here, but it's that's what it was. Huh. It was interesting. Yeah, dude, it felt it slightly was, magical. They are fucking insane places. And like, again, yeah, they had crazy places that they knocked down. Like, fucking, have you ever heard of Greystone Psychiatric? Yeah. That place was fucking huge, and it was like notorious for like being like fucking like haunted as fuck, and like people would go there and shit. And they knocked that Isn't shit that down. Isn't that why it got knocked down? Uh, no, nah, it, ju- it just got sold, and people yeah. knocked it down. Same with Marlboro. Marlboro fucking psychiatric. Yeah. Or the mental hospital, that shit was crazy. All I heard was your meanie head. <laughs> The children with nasty mouths, everybody. That was pretty PG. Compared to the For usual. That, yeah, it is pretty PG. <laughs> Michelle, I've got a fucking... What did, what did he murder say? Murder your kid with a bat! Oh, or yeah, something I'm like that. I'm gonna beat the fucking shit out of your kid with a bat! And then she went, You're not gonna. Bitch, I should. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> Kids are like eight years old. Nine years old, dude. Gotta love it. I'm pretty sure that was us. <laughs> yeah, we were fucking. Yeah, we were definitely. Worse. We were delinquents. We were doing some fucking shit. That's the thing. They're they're making do with what they can. Like we didn't have the regulations that they did. Mm. Yeah. I don't know. These kids don't really have much regulation. Not much. I'm good on that. Lava. Yeah, yeah, man. It has Bluetooth. Lava, lava. Should start looking for sponsors next season. Word. Maybe lava. Lava? We'll start putting our drinks face front. (laughs) Maybe we can make our own drinks. You know what I mean? That'd be cool. Kind of like how, I mean, he fucking... I hate him, but fucking Logan Paul has that fucking whatever drink he has. I don't know what the fuck it's called. I don't even know. But like a lot of sports people fucking make it. We can just make a fucking drink that gets you high. Yeah. Hmm. Maybe like drain some drain some boiled weed (laughs) into some Gatorade and call it Weed Raider. Yeah. Something. The two blunt juice. Two blunt juice. <laughs> two blunts worth. Interesting. We could do that. Two blunts worth of kindness. If anybody patents this, I will see you. Yeah. Interesting. I like it. See, look at that. We ended up having a little. Our blunt fuel. Blood fuel. B fuel instead B of Q fuel. fuel. Ooh, I don't know. We might get uh, in trouble yeah. for that. A little bit of copyright. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. You're right, you're right. We Blunt. ended up having a little... Uh, Blunt fuel. What the fuck am I thinking? Great shit, selling shit. What the fuck is... What, what, what are we supposed to have today? What were we supposed to do today? Speed tiny, time. Speed time, yeah. Speed time. We ended up having a portion of that. Yeah. Tiny one. Look at that. Look at that, everything comes full circle. We were supposed to do one, but we <coughs> forgot, and uh, we only have one episode left after this, and it's not going to be Speed Tank, so... Uh, yeah. I guess you got... Uh, yeah. Never let them know your next move. They got a little push in there, Keep them on the toes. You, know I mean? you, you thought you were coming here to see something. Yeah, dope. See something else. Yeah, dope. We gotta, we gotta, like, brainstorm for next season. It can't, it's gotta be fucking some fucking, like... Rain blast! Off the wall, crazy fucking bullshit. We gotta like blow stuff up next season. Fucking bring in some fucking guests. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. Yeah. It got less blue over time. Do you realize it that? It did get less blue over time. What is that all about? Of That's course, right crazy. when we're about to like wrap up the video. Wow. Like, what the fuck is that I all want, about? Wiki wiki. It has been 44 minutes, 45 minutes approximately. Good time, good time. Yeah. Jim, what are you doing? Jim Jamboree. Jimbo. You want to come say hi to the camera? This is like, yeah, I'm good off that shit. Come here. <laughs> come here. Come on. Come on, man.
Come and be in the next couch. Come here. ASMR trying to get a cat on the couch. There he is. Jim Jamboree. Alright. He's the man. That's all you get. <laughs> Huh? Sneak peek. He probably blends right in with the couch. He probably can see he shit. Does. Yeah, he probably. Camouflage. <laughs> Catflash. Camouflage. Camouflage. <laughs> 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 On that Word. note, we do episodes every single Tuesday and Friday. Well, in this case, we're doing an episode this Friday. No mas. Our final episode. Keep if you guys out. enjoyed, uh, we do. You know, we do this, you can see it. Um, we have Patreon. Um, we do episodes a week early if you want to donate to us and spend you all money. And uh, sure. it is patreon.com slash speedpigeonproductions. You can also find us on Instagram at stayrotch and kevin underscore wanky and speedcastpod as well as we stream Clicking on Anchor, follow. Spotify, and I Heart Radio. See you guys later. Stay rock. Stay on your bullshit.